What's up guys, Inders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over the new RBF map for the game that is now out on test server. But before we do that, I want to thank the supporters of this channel, including our new friends over at NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the best VPN services I've used in years. It's incredibly simple to use and hassle-free and works to keep your data safe. And for me, works to keep me on a more stable connection to EU servers while playing BDO. If you live in the States, you know the nightmare that is dealing with some of these ISPs more often than not. ISPs just go for what's cheap when it comes to routing your connection, but using a client like NordVPN can give you a stable and sometimes even faster experience. If you want to try out NordVPN with zero risk and a 30-day money-back guarantee, go to my affiliate link or use code ANDERS at checkout so you can get 68% off a two-year plan with an additional month for free. When's the last time we got 68% off anything in BDO? NordVPN. Check them out, guys. Let me know your experience with the service in the comments let me know if it helps you now as for the new map we should be getting it in two weeks or so so that's the usual timeline for things on test server to global live service transitions the new map is in garments nest where the current world boss spawns but as red battlefield is its own server now you won't see random people running around doing the dragon quest line the two spawns are high above the flat boss arena above the field and you still have to jump down or in the case of one of the sides you can actually run down the slopes to get back into the fight. The normal RBF NPC is here as well, so you can buy the potions if you need. You can uh, get that buff for the PA, but the biggest difference seems to be the objective. Previously, RBF has been solely a team deathmatch mode with a point system. So the team with the highest amount of points at the end of the timer wins. And here it seems like there is a kill objective. So all sides can attack this giant dragon pillar. If you remember before the garment changes, this pillar would spawn at the very beginning and needed to be killed before garment would come in and land. Same thing here, except the health of the pillar is much, much higher. It's unclear what will happen when the pillar breaks since it's not enough people were testing when I was trying it out. As for the fight, the timer runs down. You're going to have to fight around the pillar, killing the opposing team, while also doing damage to the pillar and dodging Garmouth from above. Much like the world boss, Garmouth shoots fireballs at you constantly and will aggro players who attack the pillar. His fireballs seem to do percentage-based damage from what it seems, so that's something to keep in mind. As you progress with the objective, purple vases will spawn. If you remember the old Shadow Arena mode in the game before it got taken out and then destroyed, these vases give you massive buffs for a short duration. It works pretty much the same here. The buffs seem to be RNG, and I had one that gave me 100 AP. Another one gave me Ignore Resist 30%. Another one gave me 100 DP, attack speed increase, movement in increase by 30%, and even jump height increase as well as accuracy plus 50 was one of the buffs. These buffs last a full minute when you get them and is only given to those that break the vases. That's all we know so far about the new map and mode. I like that there is a new objective and the location seems to be good. I do think that they should be buffing the HP of these vases that give you buffs because I can see range classes just kind of sitting by waiting for those vases to spawn and just stacking insane buffs. Archer or Wizard and Witches specifically with buffs like those would be crazy in this kind of mode. The Garmouth damage seems to be alright and adding additional elements to the fight like a Garmouth constantly shooting fireballs at you is an interesting take and I kind of like it. And that's pretty much it for this video guys. Are you looking forward to this new RBF map? Where else in the Black Desert world map do you think would make a good Red Battlefield map? Let me know in the comments and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel. Every sub counts as we continue to grow like or dislike like this video depending on how your day is going and hit that bell icon bell is good so please ding the bell to get notified when i upload my next video as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care